Hi, my name is Kathleen Metcalf, and this is my P3 video blog for Art 110. Um, okay, so this was this week was Flash Mob Week, and I participated in a total of four, and I helped plan one. Um, the Flash Mob I helped plan was one that was at the Rec Center, and that one we called Stop and Smell the Flowers. Um, because basically we went into the rec center and um, everybody came in with like a fake flower and they literally just froze acting as if they were smelling flowers. Kind of a little more um, message oriented. Whereas uh, the other three that I participated in uh, were um, the human dominoes, the Pac-Man, and free hugs. That one was fun. Um, Pac-Man was just a lot of fun because we played a giant game of Pac-Man um, out in the quad area, I guess you could say, an upper campus. Um, that one, I thought it was pretty well organized. Um, free hugs, however, that one was a bit more surprise oriented because with Pac-Man, we kind of all stood out there and we were in the area that we were going to be working in and figuring things out. So it seemed like not so much a flash mob as like an organized event. Whereas like with free hugs, we already knew what we were going to do and people just sort of meandered down by the bookstore. And then as soon as anybody came up for a free hug to like two or three people that were over there, everybody just came from like all over in the shops and area, shopping area and just like mobbed completely unexpecting people. That was interesting, a lot of fun. Um, but both of those were just good fun. Um, the Domino's one, that... <laughs> I think that one could have been better organized. It was... Um, it turned out okay. Uh, not quite in, I think, the best area. It wasn't a... there wasn't a whole lot of people there to see what was going on. Um, and it was kind of painful <laughs> falling to the ground, um, uh, being knocked over by someone much larger than myself. Um, but other than that, it was still, it was still a good concept, I thought. Um, as far as concept is concerned, I, I like free hugs and the stop and smell the flowers the best. Um, so then, uh, artist for this week, uh, flash mob artist. Uh, the person I looked at was um, Charlie Todd, the uh, creator of Improv Everywhere. Um, I, I like his work. It's uh, comedy for comedy's sake. Um, really interesting. Uh, the one that I, I saw that I liked the best was when they um, they took over basically like a four floor uh, department store in New York City, and they had a bunch of people on all the windows, and it was at night so you could see them really well like silhouetted, and um, his, the whole thing was called Look Up More, and they had like signals going on so that everybody would be like dancing at one point or doing jumping jacks, and it was all just to get people to smile. And they did one, another thing uh, in the subway in New York, where people coming up the escalator, um, there was like signs at the bottom that says Rob wants to give you a high five. And as the people went up the escalator, there were some guy standing on the stairs there next to the escalator waiting to give everyone a high five at the, like in rush hour traffic in the subway. That one was pretty fun, too. Um, but, yeah, I like that because it's just fun for fun's sake. Um, kind of the whole idea that some of the other flash mobs get out where it's kind of creating, like, a worldwide playground. Um, then, for performance artists, I looked at Karen Finley. Interesting woman. Uh, <laughs> I was a little taken aback at first. Um just because of how, like, forward she is, and how she doesn't seem to care much what anybody else thinks, and it's all about her getting her ideas across. Um, I watched an interview with her that was looked like it was, I think it was from the 80s, 
and <laughs> she was talking about how she got arrested for doing this per performance art demonstration in front of like Macy's department store windows and kind of just like dancing around naked and like pressing her breasts up against the window and like having a, an accomplice on a motorcycle like drive her around the parking lot kind of like pushing weird stereotypes of male fantasies of women naked women on motorcycles and things like that um she also did some interesting music tracks that were all super explicit um <laughs> I think, to an extent, a lot of her work it has a serious amount of shock value. Um, and also, uh, with some of her later stuff, she's addressing more, um, like, responses to, like, trauma and life events. Uh, whereas some of her earlier stuff is more along the, like, the risque, nude protest sort of thing. Um, There's a, like, in terms of being art, uh, Charlie Todd and Karen Finley, they both get some messages across, like the whole look up more thing, kind of getting people to pay attention, which is a lot of what Karen Finley does, considering how she just gets people's attention by taking off clothes in public, and which apparently she doesn't do anymore, but that one was when she was younger. Um, but... Like, she did this, uh, like, photo ream where she's just, she's naked, but she's being, like, doused in honey. And it's all, like, projects based around interesting uses of foodstuffs. Um, but, like, between the two of them, they have some more, I guess, innocent messages that get across uh, from Todd's work because he because his stuff is fun for fun's sake and comedy. Um, I, I kind of like Karen Finley's work just for its serious shock value because I mean it sounds odd but woman's got balls. Uh, <laughs> Charlie Todd however like I, I like his stuff but it's um, a, a much lighter tone. Uh, it's not as if he's ch tackling any huge uh, social stereotypes or anything like that, whereas Karen Finley is challenging people to think about themselves and about their lives, about how they perceive other people. Um, drawing connections between their work and my own in terms of flash mobs, considering culture. Okay, uh, I think what we did as a class uh, ties a lot more into Charlie Todd's project with Improv Everywhere, simply because it's mostly lighthearted stuff that's fun, it's supposed to get people to smile, it's supposed to stop people from just walking blindly through their day and like getting people to pay attention and look around and find things that are entertaining or funny or thought-provoking through their day. Um, However, I guess our, our flash mob of Stop and Smell the Flowers is a bit more along the lines of Karen Finley's work, just because it's actually trying to tell people something that's, in, in our case, you know, slow down, take a look at the life around you, and enjoy it. And Karen Finley, some of her things do point more towards that sort of message, trying to get people to pay attention to their lives and lives of others. Um... So, yeah, I, I liked the project this week. It, was, it came off a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm not a huge group project person, and I was really hoping beyond hope that um, mainly organization would come out, and it did a lot, a lot better than I expected. I was kind of uh, thinking that there might be some mass hysteria, people running around not knowing where to go. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I kind of pushed my boundaries because I don't interact with people, like a lot of people, all that often. And this kind of got me to do that and to uh, step outside my comfort zone and do something that was fun and public <laughs> and ridiculous. Um, 
but yeah, so thank you for listening to my project. <laughs>